A crucial part of the Woodland Trust's vision for Snae's Home is to extend and protect the existing Red Squirrel Reserve, providing much needed habitat for this threatened native species. The 2023 marks the start of one of the boldest habitat restoration projects in the English uplands. The work at Snae's Home involves the improvement of a vibrant mosaic of habitats, from peat bog and limestone pavement to riverside meadows and the carefully designed reintroduction of trees into the landscape. After the first phase of tree planting in the spring and early summer, we are revisiting the site to see how work is progressing. We successfully planted our target of 87,000 trees last season um, and hopefully as you can see here they're still doing, doing pretty well. Um, they had a bit of dry weather in June but up here it stays wet all year round really uh, and then this wet weather we've had over that in, into July into August has been great for the trees to really sort of settle in and yeah they're doing very well. Yeah so as you can see here we're not, we're not protecting our trees with any single use plastic tree guards um, and so far, so good. Our intention is to overstock and put more trees and accept that we will have losses. Uh, we have started to grow over a little bit, but we did a bit of ground prep around the trees, just a, a hand screef, uh, which has basically created this wee-free area for the tree to grow. And so far, it's doing its job. We're not getting a lot of vegetation really growing up and around it. Um, I imagine next season that'll start to grow over, but yeah, giving them a bit of a head start, really. jobs that we have here to protect our trees is the installation of, of uh, the stock proof fence that we have here. Um, we haven't, haven't installed a deer fence um, because we're concerned about the risk with bird strike flying into the fence, um, which we still have a bit of risk with, with normal stock fencing, but we have tried to mitigate this by installing bird strike markers on. Um, as you can see, we've got also got um, rabbit netting on the bottom here to try and keep up rabbits, which can be a big problem in this area. But well, I've been on here. <laughs> You know, like th maybe two or three months. Then all the way over there, all across here. It's been halfway down there where that knocker is. We're about to do this hill at some point this week. It's, uh, it's a lot of work to do. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the summer here, believe it or not. It's hard to tell with this weather we're having at the moment. Um, so we're outside of planting, the planting season, um, so our, our focus has shifted away from tree planting for the, for the time being um, and we've got a lot of other work underway on site, one of them being track work. Um, so we're installing tracks to improve our access across the site. Um, the other thing is uh, barn restoration work, so we have uh, three field barns on site that we're looking to restore and retain within the landscape and to be able to make use of uh, for the project uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, we also have um, bridge restoration, so we have a beautiful old arch bridge on site that we've restored um, and strengthened so that we can make use of it and again retaining it in the landscape for, for the long term. Uh, and then we also have fencing that is, has been underway for quite some time now and will continue for the summer months making use of hopefully some, some good weather. So sheep uh, are slowly being removed from, from the land here, um, however yeah we're not completely uh, removing all grazing livestock. We have uh, brought native breed cattle into the valley bottom which is part of our plan to sensitively manage that habitat for, for wading birds and other species. Um, the idea being that the cattle will more selectively graze, graze the land and less intensely graze the land. So we're going to be planting the next, next two seasons. Um, we've got another about sort of just over 200 hectares left to plant. Uh, so yeah, plenty to go out over the next two years.